Picture this, you're young, perhaps in your 20s or 30s, you're supposed to be in the prime of your life, but something's amiss. You're constantly drained, uh, lacking motivation, motivation seems elusive, and that youthful energy you once had, well, it's not as it used to be. Does it sound familiar? It's possible you're grappling with a health issue that doesn't get nearly enough attention. What is this health issue? We'll explain shortly. So don't click away just yet. There's more to this story and we're about to dive right in. Hello, hormone and health optimizers. Welcome back to Balance My Hormones. And if this is your first journey with us, we're chuffed to have you on board. So press that subscribe button and join us as we tackle the mysteries of hormonal health. Today, we're setting our sights on low testosterone in young men. Yes, even in your youthful prime, your testosterone levels might be lower than they should be. When we discuss testosterone, it's often in the context of the over 30s, over 40s, over 50s crowd. And it's true, testosterone levels naturally decline as we age, but younger lads are not exempt from this hormone upheaval. Symptoms, you might ask. What symptoms might you be experiencing? These may be things like unexplained fatigue, low mood, dwindling libido, even physical changes like a loss of muscle mass. And these signs can often be subtle and often dismissed as just a phase or temporary burnout, and they may be. But one thing to keep in mind, if you're not sure, it's important to get a blood test. Even if you're not having any symptoms, if you're younger, it's really important to get a baseline test for where you are. So why, why would you wanna get this? If you have a baseline test, when you feel fully optimized, naturally as a young person, you'll have a reference point for the future. So when you go to the doctor, the GP, and you do a blood test with them, and you fall into what they consider a normal range, which we know is really truncated reference ranges, when you, when you fall into those ranges, you might be normal, but not normal to where you were when you're optimized. So having that reference range or having that blood test when you're young and healthy will prevent you from being gaslit by the medical establishment. So that's very important uh, to have that baseline and balance with hormones can also help you get those blood tests if you're in the UK, in Ireland, or in Spain. So the signs can be subtle of low testosterone. Or they're often dismissed as a phase of temporary burnout. A study published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2012 shed light on this under-discussed issue. And the study concluded that testosterone deficiency is not confined to middle age or later life, but can also affect men as young as 25. And I know it affected me at age 22. This deficiency uh, can lead to a range of health concerns, not just in terms of physical well-being, but mental health as well, as well as your sexual health, which also then feeds back into your mental health. So, you may ask, how old do you have to be to start testosterone treatment? It's not strictly about age. There are multiple factors that need to be considered, such as lifestyle, diet, and existing health conditions. So we can look even further afield, such as your exposure to environmental toxins. These can contribute to early onset testosterone deficiency. And a 2006 study published in the Journal of Andrology found that exposure to environmental toxins such as pesticides and heavy metals could disrupt hormone levels, both males and females, including the hormone testosterone. So as for treatment for low testosterone in young males, it, it varies from individual to individual. There are bespoke options available, and, and some options can range from just making lifestyle changes to getting enough sleep to reducing your exposure to environmental toxins. All these may have an impact on improving your testosterone uh, level, and um, you may not need to have testosterone replacement therapy. It just depends on your severity of symptoms. So if you're able to change through, uh, and you're young, decreasing body fat, getting enough sleep, reducing stress, you may not need to go on testosterone replacement therapy, but if you do, and, and, and after doing these changes, you still have low levels, maybe over three different blood tests over a period of time, then perhaps testosterone replacement therapy can relieve the, the severity of your symptoms. So if you're enjoying our content, why not give us a like and share the wisdom with others, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you won't miss out on future hormone health deep dives. Stay tuned because up next, we're going to explore natural methods to boost your testosterone level. You won't want to miss it. We've got a video that we did a few years ago discussing other natural ways to boost testosterone. Are you still with us? 
Perfect. Now let's delve into the realm of natural testosterone boosters from exercise regimes to dietary tweaks. There's a plethora of options to explore. We've barely scratched the surface today. For more insight into hormonal health, why not explore our channel? We've got a wealth of content awaiting your attention, and you can also visit our website at balancemyhormones.co.uk. So this is Mike from Balance My Hormones, your beacon in the fascinating world of hormonal health. And until next time, remember, knowledge is power, and your journey to wellness starts here with Balance My Hormones.